Welcome back. Well, Time Magazine has recently released some information about our phones that may shock you. Joining us now on our 702 Communications line, 702 Communications, keeping us connected. The CEO of 702 Communications, Brian Cromwell. Good morning, Brian. Great to see you. Good morning, Chris. Good to see you. So I didn't want to give away your thunder here, but uh, what is Time <laughs> Magazine saying about our phones? <laughs> Pretty much there isn't anything dirtier <laughs> or more likely to spread disease than your cell phone because it goes everywhere with you, right? Um, you, you're taking it to the store. You may be even putting it on the counter when you're at the store or at the bar or, or wherever you are. That phone is with you. Um, and whatever you're touching or whoever you're shaking hands with or not shaking hands right now, but you know what I mean, anything you're touching, you're going to put that on your phone because the five minutes from now, you're going to have your phone in your hand for some reason, right? Um, and so it is important right now, especially right now when we're talking about all the ways that we can stay healthy and, and do our part to not spread uh, coronavirus or any other illness, um, to really take some time to look at ways that we can make sure um, that that our devices are also being cleaned or sterilized. And so you have a thing called, I'd never heard of this until now, called phone soap? Yeah, so phone soap's been out for a couple of years now. And uh, if you've never seen one or heard of, heard of one, you're probably thinking to yourself, was that like a dishwashing detergent or a, right. <laughs> a window cleaner or something like that? Um, actually, what phone soap is, is it's a device. It, it looks like this. Uh, right here, it's just a little white clamshell. And when you open it up, you can see there's a couple of uh, UV bulbs in it. It looks like kind of a little tanning bed for your phone. Um, but, 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 and that's not that far off, honestly. Tanning beds use uh, one type of UV radiation, UVA primarily. Um, phone soap and other UV sanitizers like it use UVC, uh, which is a much smaller wavelength. And because it's such a smaller wavelength, um, it can affect viruses or, or bacteria on a, on a DNA level and prevent them from replicating, prevent them from infecting. Uh, and that's what 10 minutes uh, of UVC will do to your phone. If, if, it's, uh, if it's got any sort of uh, bacteria or whatever on it, put it uh, in the phone soap for 10 minutes and that bacteria is dead. So. Uh, really handy um, and, and responsible for any of us to be using right now uh, to clean devices like our phones or this is big enough for I can put my keychain in there or I can even put my wallet in there. Wow. You know, my da daily carry items can all go in there. Um, and, and I'm pretty sure at the end of it that everything's pretty sanitary then. Could I use it as maybe a face tanner too, or? <laughs> you should not use it as a face tanner. Uh, <laughs> there are safety just, protocols in this thing to make kidding. sure that you can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, I got about 30 seconds left, my friend. If people want more information from 702 Communications, how do they get a hold of you? Of course, uh, we're going to do a blog post on this with some more information about how the UVC actually works. Uh, so you can find that just on my website, 702com.com. Also got a Facebook page that we keep updated and of course a YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and look for 702 Communications. Great stuff as always. That was fantastic. I had no idea, but I can see how, you know, next thing they're gonna be talking about, hey, you gotta have those phone, the, the glass phone thing. And so <laughs> we know that's coming. So Brian Cromit, CEO of 702 Commun Communications, joining us here on the 702 Communications line. Thank you so much, Brian, we appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. All right, stay with us. We got much more coming up right here on North Dakota Today.